Well, hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with a little bonus reading all about you. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings and I will never reach out to you personally to offer one. Also, I will never ask you for money, e-gifts, or donations. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Aries, this is a little bonus reading all about you. Us tarot readers, we tend to talk about money, career, love, but we never ask how are you doing? So this reading is going to tap into that, see what you're moving through at this time and how you're coming out the other side. Also, I've opened up a second competition to win a free personal reading from me, but I'll let you know how to win that a little bit later on because some people are here just for the reading and I don't like to waste anyone's time. So let's get straight to it. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please, guys, my beautiful Aries. What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they going through at this moment in time? What is their starting position? What is crossing them? What are they meant to be aware of for the path ahead? Can you please guide them? Illuminate the way? Whoa. Okay, so we have two threes to start. We have a three of pentacles and we have a three of cups. So this can be about your plans taking shape. Uh, it can also be that some of you have been working really hard trying to create something for yourself, really invest in yourself as well and in your friendships. But you may feel that you yearn to have a little bit more fun, a little bit more spontaneity, a little bit more excitement there. Uh, we have that Princess of Pentacles there as your earthly position. So it can indicate that a lot of you, whilst investing in yourself, you're focusing on, of course, your tasks, responsibilities. Uh, we do have the Empress there as well. Now, I will tap into each card as I get there. And of course, uh, I'm shuffling the cards. I do not choose the cards for you. So this reading, it may not resonate with everyone, but I have to honor each card as it pops out there. Okay. So this is about you wanting to follow your heart, focus your energy and channel it into uh, creating the life that you aspire to. I definitely see that you are very focused at this time, making some changes. Um, definitely, there's a lot of major arcana cards here. So this is about following the path to what your heart desires. This is also uh, a deep period where you're going through a transformation and really looking at your self-care needs. So I can see also that some of you are trying to deepen your friendships. Some of your friendship circles may have changed over the last couple of years. Uh, you may be evolving away from certain things um, or people, situations. You may feel that uh, whilst your friendship circle is getting a little bit smaller, it's certainly getting stronger, okay? And I feel uh, some of you, there's this yearning and this may not resonate with all of you, but there may be a yearning here for some of you to reconnect to a part of yourself that you feel like you've moved on from, lost touch with, or in some way you've had so many like responsibilities or tasks on your shoulders that you feel you've had to put a part of yourself aside uh, in order to just deal with life, okay? Because sometimes we just got to do that. But I do see that you're actually going to be more in the flow of connecting to your heart's desire. Uh, definitely more fun times ahead coming towards you, but let's dissect each energy as we can with these cards. Your first card there is the Three of Pentacles. Now, when you apply this card to a person's energy, this can be that you are building something solid in your current circumstances. You're building the life that you aspire to. You got plans and you're focused predominantly on those plans. Now, this card, it literally means that you are the architect of your dreams and you're making things tangible. So things are coming to shape for you. I feel things are starting to slot into place. But some of you may be looking at where, especially in the past, you've done a lot of 
of everything by yourself. You're very independent, self-assured to some degree. Uh, and now you're looking at reciprocity or sharing the load in some way. So it could be a collaboration that you're looking at right now because, uh, you know, I feel if I was to look at these two cards, I'd be like teamwork is dream work, right? So that's what I'm getting here. So some of you, it could be, you know, um, family situations or friendships where you feel people work together or even work against each other. And I definitely see that you're moving away from anything that um, is not working with you at this time. Now, some of you with this three of pentacles, uh, this can be that you're highly focused on your finances at this time. Now, of course, this reading is not really about finances, love or all of those things. But of course, stability is important. So I feel like you're being careful with the resources that you got right now. And you're trying to build upon those. Um, I also feel like currently you're weighing up your options in life, trying to make some radical changes. For some of you, this is to move. I see some of you are uh, really trying to get connected to nature or you're trying to move to a different uh, location at this time. This could be abroad. It doesn't have to be, though. I feel it's actually a little bit more uh, local energy. But, uh, you know, I feel there's something here you're manifesting and um, the universe is actually going to step in and offer an opportunity for you to acquire or attract what you desire at this time. So I just feel that this is plans, but also you're someone who is naturally gifted. You know, this can be a card of inspiration. It can be that you are, uh, you know, maybe consulting with friends about your situation. It could be that you're, um, you know, asking advice at this time, but ultimately you're an Aries, you're a fire element, you're very passionate, intense, you know your own mind and you know your own intuition, but you may use your friends as a soundboard regarding something at this time. Now, for some of you, of course, it could be love because the Ace of Cups is present in your potential position. So if you are looking for love, I see that you've done a lot of inner work. You're so ready to fall in love. So if you are, um, I mean, looking at your energy there are a couple of people here I mean you've got three cups and three pentacles and then we've got a princess of uh, pentacles here we've got an empress and we got a queen of cups so this could be all about you know your soul tribe the people that you surround yourself with and right now you're looking at the dynamics and how they change who's supporting you who's got your back who you can trust who you really love who's your ride or die okay but it can also be that some of you are thinking about like community you know, building a strong sense of community with the people that you really bond together with, you know, so I feel with this magician card, it's like right now your focus is on creating like a magical life, of course, trying really hard to uh, obtain your goals, your dreams, and uh, basically, you know, honor your heart's desire. But at the same time, it's like the people that you surround yourself with, you're building memories, you know, you really care about these people. And this is about living in the moment. So I feel a lot of you are learning to celebrate the moment with the people who are around you right now and I feel that's one of the most important energies like building memories with the people you care about you know some people consider that like simplicity but actually it's the most important so uh, you know the simple pleasures in life of course are the most important so I feel this is about you and the people that you surround yourself with at this time. Now, of course, there's lots of other things on your mind right now. But with that three of pentacles, I feel like you're just focused on plans, creating stability. I feel like you've been investing a lot in your life. But also with that three of pentacles, some of you could have dependents or people that you care about or even help out financially. And uh, I feel that you're just remaining on course and that actually you will obtain whatever it is that you are trying to achieve at this time as well. Now, the crossing card is the Three of Cups. So it can indicate that although you have a lot of people around you, I've already mentioned, you're kind of focusing on your support network. So it could be that sometimes, because when you get this card in this position, it means you read the upright and the reverse. So it can mean that sometimes you feel that, you know, there are people who perhaps don't support you in the way that you hoped for. This could be in your job. It could be in your social network. It could be in your neighborhood. It could be uh, in a relationship even, but I feel like you're looking at readdressing the balance at this time for reciprocity. Also, I feel some of you, you're really super generous, right? And I see that you're always there, a really good friend. Um, I feel like you are kind of, in some way, the heart of your community. I feel like you are someone who's always there for a person. You celebrate people and their uh, endeavors and their accomplishments. And of course, there are people around you who celebrate yours. But also, I feel with this uh, Three of Cups there, 
this is an energy of um, perhaps feeling sometimes that there's someone who's doing a bit of gossiping, okay? I don't like to go down the gossip route, okay? Uh, that doesn't tend to be my style of reading, but it is coming out here, there's some sort of gossip. So it could be that you're seeing a person who is in your social circle in a different mindset. So I feel there's one person that either you've been keeping your eye on recently or you feel the dynamics have changed and I feel either they're getting more distant or you are. There's just a detachment here and we have to acknowledge that, especially with the Empress card present, and this is not a gender specific reading, as we mature, the dynamics change and we actually start to want different things in life. We go off in different directions. Our viewpoint changes and you know sometimes friendships we outgrow them and you know that's okay we can let go with love and acknowledge that you know that person they just don't share the viewpoints and you know friendships they don't always have to share the same viewpoint in fact it's really nice when people have got lots of different opinions and you can hash it out or converse and learn from each other about everybody's differences so honoring differences is truly important but also it's okay to acknowledge that you know what you're just not vibing with that person anymore something's changed and I feel for some of you the way I'm seeing it is you may have felt that either this person has been gossiping, but if you don't get that kind of negative vibe, because it's almost like they may be talking about something that you're successful at, and because they're not doing so well themselves right now, it just feels like next to you, they're reminded of what's not going very well for them, okay? So I just feel this person either detaching or you are detaching, um, and it just feels like the way that you're leaving it is, you know what, I'm always here for you if you kind of need me. But at the same time, I honor the fact that we're kind of like moving apart or there's distance. So this could also be a family member. So please take it as it resonates. I'm really going to detach from this energy right now. Um, I'm going to pull a card. And with respect, I'm detaching from that energy because I don't like to get into the they said, you said, you know, kind of uh, dynamic in a reading. But I am going to pull a card to see if this is lots of people in your reading, because it feels a bit peoply, right? So perhaps some of you with that three of pentacles, you are um, looking at your circle and closing it down a little bit because you're trying to focus on something like a, a goal or a wish, and you don't want any distractions. So some of you, for example, it could be that you like to go out and party with a certain set of people and you love like letting your hair down, but you feel that if you get caught up in that all the time, then you cannot focus on that fire in your soul to accomplish a dream goal or you know something that you're aspiring to right now so I see some of you kind of disconnecting going you know what I'm having fun it's great but now I need to get a bit serious about something I just get this energy of like okay I need to focus because the magician card is like just use your energy and channel it into something that you really want to focus on at this time so let me just pull a quick card on that I mean, some of you could be thinking about relocating and you're kind of like worried about leaving friendships behind or moving to a new neighborhood where you don't know anybody and you're trying to fit in with community in some way. So it could be that you're trying to find your place right now in a group of people. So I just want to see, is this a group of people or is this aspects of self? Okay, thank you so much. Because if it's aspects of self, what I'm seeing here is that sometimes um, you don't tend to celebrate yourself, okay? And you tend to be a little bit critical on yourself from time to time. So I feel it's really important to have compassion for yourself, uh, that you're really doing an awesome job with the circumstances and the resources that you've got right now no matter your circumstances especially if you're a parent okay because we have a parental card in your reading so uh, it can be tough and sometimes when you're trying to uh, run your own life but also guide your children and protect them and you know try and do the best that you can in the circumstances that you have it's difficult and it feels like sometimes you know you have to put a part of yourself aside in order to focus on what's important in that moment and I'm just getting the energy that you know you're doing an awesome job okay but for some of you it doesn't have to be a parental figure um, it can be that um, 
Yeah, it's aspects of self. I just want you to be aware of that because we've got the King of Wands, which is an Aries card. It's your card. So this is about, you know, you channeling your energy, your passion, your drive, rediscovering your lust for life, especially as you mature. Okay, I really get this energy of you looking at your purpose, you know, really taking charge of your life. But the Two of Swords is like something new is afoot. So it can be that you're trying to, number one, protect your inner peace. You know, the swords are up to kind of guard yourself against anybody who comes to uh, basically disrupt your inner peace. But also this is about going inwards, withdrawing in order to channel that energy. So I am on target with the way that the uh, reading is going. It's more about you gathering the strength, the energy, the drive, and the ambition to make some radical changes in your life. So whether it's to go out there and find love, whether it's to, you know, set up your own business, become an entrepreneur, whether it is to uh, basically be more creative or relocate, there are some radical changes going on here. And I feel like you're trying to find balance between action and focusing all your energy onto making those changes. And of course, a healthy dose of having fun being with the people that you care about. So um, I feel with this princess of pentacles, which is in your earthly position, you work really hard to invest in yourself, but also invest in the people around you, invest in life in general to make it work. You know, this card, it can indicate that some of you, you know, you're committed to uh, building a solid financial foundation. It's uh, really also about plans. I mean, this is a card that's the equivalent of the Page of Pentacles. So that's all about your plans taking shape, things paying off for you, but it's also about being the student of life. So I feel that there's something that you would love to do or would love to accomplish at this time. And now you're kind of like putting a strategy in motion in order to invest in it and action it and make it a reality. For some of you, this could be personal development. It could be that you're thinking about reaching out to a consultant, either to go and do some counseling or um, to do some mindfulness. For some of you, it could be hypnotism because I'm seeing a watch, a pocket watch go back and forth, back and forth. Now, either um, this image I'm seeing in the water right now, this could represent, of course, hypnotism. Uh, for some of you, you're trying to correct some behavior or uh, try to help you process some things. But it could also be, uh, because I'm seeing the pocket watch, it doesn't have to be hypnotism. It can be that you're acutely aware of time and you don't want to waste your time. You're focusing on those goals, but also, you know, it's time that you focus on yourself, grounded yourself and realize what it is that you want. And actually, I see a lot of you empowering yourself and realizing that you have more power in your situation than you give yourself credit for. OK, but this card, it's like everything starts with a plan. So I really feel here that you know, something has the potential to really blossom. So it could be a relationship, could be a friendship. Uh, for some of you, there's new friendships or you're looking for where you feel like you fit in or belong right now. So you could be joining new groups of people, whether it's on a course of learning, whether it's you doing a hobby, something you're passionate about. Ultimately, I feel that, you know, you in life in general, whether you feel like it or not, I feel like actually you're quite accomplished. I feel like you have um, gone through some difficult things in life. Yes, there's moments where you're completely exhausted, but Aries, you always tend to find that fire in your soul and, um, you know, you really bring that energy to the fore. So I feel like there is a part of you that's looking to reignite that lust for life again and seek adventure. But at the same time, I feel there's a harness on the energy. It's like, how can I utilize this energy and um, put it to good use into making positive changes in my life. That's what I'm getting from this reading. Now, the Empress energy, it is in the past position. So this can indicate, um, especially with the Three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, for some of you, you could be a carer looking after a parental type figure and you give with so much love. And this person, although they may... Um, and this is not a gender specific reading. This is a parental card. So it can represent that or a guardian or someone that you really care about. Uh, it can indicate that, you know, you are someone who is giving a lot of love to this person, a lot of care, a lot of devotion, and uh, it can be hard. 
So I feel that you're going to have some respite so that you can have a break or perhaps a family member if you are lucky enough to have a sibling to, uh, you know, may take over or some of you may be, you know, getting some sort of outside help there as well. Now, of course, that is not going to resonate with everyone, but I have to honor the energy that comes out for each card. So that portion of energy has come and flown uh, into this reading for a reason. So I want you to be aware you're doing an awesome job. And although this person that you're uh, caring for they may be complex sometimes but actually they really love you there's unconditional love here and uh, they really appreciate all that you're doing okay so if you're going through that I'm sending you a huge hug out there because you know I know it can be super difficult um, now detaching with respect from that energy the Empress energy can indicate that you have come so far in your life right now you've reached a plateau okay so again not gender specific it's an energy of uh, reaching a certain position where uh, you're comfortable uh, it can also indicate that you've made a promise to yourself that you know you're going to nourish yourself more and you're going to pay more attention to what you need in life. You know, you really are a powerful creator in your life and you are brimming with potential no matter what age you are. Uh, you're very attractive both inside and out. You basically lead with unconditional love. You're a very passionate being and, you know, I feel like you're very personable. But sometimes we need to step away from people in order to really focus on what we want or focus on direction or try and not have any distraction if you want to channel that energy into something productive or creative. Because I feel the Empress card is an indication that you're very busy, you're very productive, you're always on the go but you don't tend to celebrate how far you've come. And I feel with the Ace of Cups, it's taken you a long time to recognize that you are a gift in life and in friendships and in any like area of life that you find yourself in. Anyone is lucky to have an Aries by their side, okay? But this Ace of Cups, this is you kind of recognizing that the cup of love, it starts for the self first. But also I have to honor the fact that the universe is stepping in in divine timing to offer you something for you, okay? Uh, this is going to be a nice little gift. Uh, I feel it's connected to the Eight of Cups, something that you're walking away from or that you've had to detach from. There's something kind of brighter on the other side. So whether you've gone through um, a healing process because you've uh, separated from somebody or whether you've walked away from a position or if you've retired and now you're entering into a, a different pace of life, I feel like you're going to find it's very rewarding on the other side. And the universe has a few surprises there for you as well to help you along the way. But ultimately, this is emotional care. So I feel a lot of your reading is about investment in self and emotional care, focusing on your plans and just doing life, okay? But also, I feel there is a search for something more. So some of you, there may have been a question like, is this it? And if I know an Aries, which I know quite a few, but you know, there tends to be this energy of this is not just it. I'm going to go out there and find something really special to connect to. You have this energy about you that makes magic in the world. And I feel like some of you maybe perhaps because of world circumstances in the last couple of years, you may have felt that, um, the way you feel about things has changed. You may have felt there's been a bit of a plateau where you just feel like you've had to focus mainly on responsibilities and you felt that that magic or that missing ingredient in life has somehow eluded you, but I feel like you're going to rediscover it, okay? Sorry, I just got an itchy knee there. Um, now, the Ace of Cups, I am hearing a song with this. Okay, this song, I think it has come up before, maybe for your sign, I can't really remember. A uh, very famous song uh, by Queen, I think. Um, I'll just give you what I'm being given right now. Adventure, oh, adventure, sorry, I thought it was adventure, I don't even know if that's a word. Uh, let me just wait until it comes back around again. Adventure seeker on an empty street, just give me... What I know is mine. I want it all. I want it all and I want it now. Okay, so yeah, very famous song. I think it's called I Want It All. Uh, I mean, that lyric that I was given, it's not um, linear. So I'm being given portions of the song, I feel, to give the message over. Some of you are searching for adventure, but you feel either that there's nothing exciting to connect to at this moment in time, or you're trying to book things that are exciting to do, but they're in the future. Um, 
but it could also be that, you know, the way you feel about things has changed in some way and you try to sort of get back to a period in your life where you felt it was much more enjoyable. And I actually see that you're returning to better times. Okay, so I, I see that coming through as well. But ultimately, this is about peace of mind. It's about love. Of course, it's about romance as well. This card is attached to romance. But more than anything, when you apply this card to a person, it's about holding that feeling in your heart and soul that all should be well. Because we're all going through some difficult things right now. And of course, the world is changing in some way. But I feel like you're still like seeing past the difficulties. You are aware they're there and you try to help and be generous with your time and your energy and share resources and all of those things. But it's more than that. I feel like you're seeing past it so you can actually keep on track to obtain your goals or your desires. And I feel like you tend to do a lot of overthinking as well because the Ace of Cups is like mental activity. So it can be that you're always thinking about other people and uh, sometimes you neglect your own needs or uh, now is your time to focus on you a little bit more or you're going to be able to have more time to focus on you. And actually, I see that a lot of you, you're very naturally gifted and talented and there is a talent that you haven't quite tapped into fully. It's been on your mind, but I feel like you will actually return to this, whatever this is. It may be something you dabbled in a long time ago. It could be photography, it could be painting, it could be, uh, you know, fixing cars. It could be, uh, you know, some sort of sport. It could be something related to music. Whatever it is, I feel it's something that sets your soul on fire and, I feel like you return to this and actually you really channel a lot of time, energy and effort into it and it is fulfilling for you. But also I feel for some of you, it could be something that you could turn into a business, but this reading is not really meant to be about that, but the energy is popping out. Now, the Magician card, of course, is a card of, um, you know, your powerful manifesting abilities that you're someone that you can really change you know, the pace of life, or you can actually channel your thoughts into things. Because remember, words, they are spellings, they're cast out into the universe. And once they're out there, they're attaching to a vibration in order to manifest what it is that you want. But some of you, you know, I feel like you've been so busy that you haven't had time to really think what you really want. You know, it's only a fleeting thought. It just feels like you've been so caught up with the basics in life, which is paying bills, looking after uh, family or friends, or just doing life and being responsible and all of those things and maybe you know starting up um, new ways of doing things or trying to generate new results but ultimately I feel some of you are trying to find some quiet time in order to really focus precisely on what it is that you want because I feel this is a card that indicates you can have what's in your mind it can be in your hand okay if you can think it you can have it and this is your near future position, and this is a potential. So this really means that something you're manifesting, you're going to be offered it from the universe. Now, it's something you're going to love. So it's something that you've had on your mind occasionally, but I feel you'll really benefit, especially just before bed, really thinking about what it is that you want like you have it now. Okay, like you're living that life, whatever it is, if it's, you know, a huge amount of money, imagine yourself going to the ATM and putting in your your pin and then seeing the amount of money that you absolutely want in your account, like you have it, like you're like, oh, I've got access to that. You know, if it is love, imagine what the sort of person looks like, where they're taking you, uh, you know, how long you've been together, what you want to be doing with this person in the future, but like you've got this person right now. So you get the gist. So I really feel right now that, you know, whatever it is that you're manifesting, you shall be offered it by the universe. And as you can see, the outcome card is the Queen of Cups. And she's holding the thing that has been offered by the universe. So I feel like, you know, you're going to grab this opportunity or this experience with both hands. And because you have so many um, cups here, I feel this is about enjoying the moment and the experience of life. So some of you, because of course there's material things here on the earthly plane, and they are nice too. We all need like a sofa to sit on. Well, we don't need it, but it's nice to have one. Um, it could be a bean bag as well. We could also just sit on the floor. Um, you know, when I've ever moved into an apartment, sometimes I'm just sitting on the floor uh, until such times I can get myself uh, into a position where I can acquire a couch and things like that. So 
It's all about the stages of life. But I feel more than anything right now, you're realizing it's the experience you have with the people you really care about. That's what's really important. So I see a lot of you really focused on that. Also, I see this energy of ancestry. Okay, so some of you could actually be um, looking into your family lineage at this time. I'm really getting this energy of you looking at, you know, the shoulders of the people that went before, that you stand on those people's shoulders, that they really made the way to where you are right now. And I feel a lot of you honoring like grandparents or people who have uh, transitioned and passed over to the other side. You actually have a lot of people in spirit who are protecting you, directing you, and of course, sending things your way. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of love around you. And uh, especially when you're going through some turbulent times, I feel it's important to recognize that you're not alone, okay? Because that's a very strong message that's coming through there. But I mean, if I was to listen to that song, I just realized, I mean, the Magician card has all the elements on the table. This is an Aries card and that song by Queen was I Want It All and that Magician card has it all. I mean, I'm a little bit slow today, but uh, you know, that connection's just come through. So this is the near future position, and it kind of indicates you will have it all. But I feel like you've been putting a lot of effort in your life to make that happen. So it's going to be a healthy dose of making the effort, but also the universe is sending a nice little surprise or a couple, actually, in order to help you, you know, get whatever it is that you are trying to accomplish. Now, your advice to yourself in this moment is the death card change. Some of you are on a personal level looking at breaking old cycles or habits, especially ancestral ones. Some of you may be doing some ancestral wounding work. You may be, uh, you know, really dissecting um, the sort of patterns that have played out in your family lineage. And it feels very much like it stops with you. And that's a very difficult task and responsibility to have. And that kind of manifests in seeing things that perhaps your family or your parents or guardians or, you know, ancestors, grandparents that they went through that you think, hang on a minute, that's the same thing. It's the same cycle. It's the same kind of repeat. And you're like, I'm not about that. I don't want to get mixed up in that. I don't want to do that. So for example, because you've got the three of cups there, that can be the uh, substances card. So it can be that perhaps, you know, um, parents or guardians or family members, they like to drink and you're like, you know what, it's not something I'm interested in. Or perhaps it's something that you've dabbled in yourself and you're like, actually, the time is now for me to really look at that cycle and, you know, see if I want to go there anymore because I feel like you have alternative things that you want to focus on right now with a clear head and a clear mind. So, you know, it doesn't have to be that, but I'm just giving you like uh, an idea of what it could be because the transformation card is like, you know what, I'm ending something that perhaps was present in order to focus on something else. And the death card can be a card of getting rid of anything that's been hindering your progress. You know, if someone's been toxic in your life, doesn't mean they're a bad person. It can mean that they're actually just caught up in a cycle of repeat that they find it really hard to get out of. But that's their journey. And your journey is to acknowledge that and say, okay, I see this. And although I can help you or I want to help you, you have to acknowledge that you're not just here to be someone else's emotional crutch. You can be their support system, but at the same time, I feel like you're stepping away in order to not get caught up in that is what I see there as well. So um, I feel like you've tried to help people or situations and you recognize that, of course, you can always be there as that support, but if the person themselves does not want to help themselves, then you can only just be there as a support. So I feel some of you may have been going through that process at this time. And that's a very difficult thing to acknowledge, especially when you really care about the person. Okay. Now, also with the death card, as you can see, um, there are some hands there and it represents like mercy or, uh, you know, praying for something. So I do feel that some of you have been going through a lot of change and it's been feeling a little bit um, out of sync with your usual timeline, as it were, and you may be like praying for a sign or a symbol or respite or for divine intervention to help you in a situation, the universe is going to surprise you, step up and actually help you in this situation, okay? Because this card can indicate a lot of you have been, of course, going through some radical changes, but there may have been a lot of endings going on in your life. And endings, they tie in with beginnings. So actually, it's almost like some of you could be facing the 
blank canvas of life where things tend to get a bit thrilling and exciting, but at the same time daunting. So for example, if like you have walked away from a job or you're contemplating that, it's a new start. You don't know the direction it's going to head in or what lies ahead, but at the same time, you're taking a leap of faith and you're taking charge. For some of you, it could be that you're leaving a neighborhood and going, okay, well, it's an end of an era and you're moving to a new neighborhood and it feels like a fresh new start. It can be thrilling, it can be exciting, it can be daunting, but you know, you're hoping, praying that this is the right place that you feel like you belong. And I feel actually you're going to fit right in wherever you're going to, because it feels like you're going somewhere in this reading or you're planning something that you're moving towards, you'll accomplish it and you're going to love it. Okay, your final card is the Queen of Cups there. Now, the external environment for you right now is walking away from things that just do not emotionally fulfill you. This is you being on a journey of discovery. And that's why I feel like right now you're going through a process of deeper meaning, authenticity. You know, you're putting greater value on things that really mean something like friendships, like, you know, stillness, like, uh, you know, being with uh, people and being present with them because you can be with a person and your mind can be somewhere else. But I feel right now you're honoring where you're at and you're hoping that the people around you do the same thing. So with this Eight of Cups there, it's like you're turning your back on something. You know, a lot of your energy in this reading is like, okay, this has been fun and I've enjoyed myself or this has been working for some time, but now I'm just feeling like there's got to be something else out there. And I feel like you're in search of that missing ingredient or that something else. For a lot of you, that's adventure, but I feel it's like your heart's desire. And I feel like you're being called right now to not just have a period of stillness, but to just really acknowledge what's not working for you right now, what doesn't feel right. And, you know, sometimes we can walk a path that we feel is right for us and other people don't understand it. But you're the sort of person, Aries, you always march to the beat of your own drum and you're not a people pleaser and you certainly, you know, are a maverick of life. You do your own thing. But also, I feel that some of you are tethered to, of course, the people you really love and care about. And if, for example, you're moving to a new neighborhood or you're changing direction in some way, these people are always going to be present in your life. So if you're contemplating a move, of course, you know, it's a wonderful adventure and you're being independent, doing your own thing. But at the same time, it means moving either away from family or friends, or in some cases, moving closer to family and friends. And I feel like either way, these people who are in your life, they really care about you. And uh, no matter the path that you choose, I feel that you know, most Aries, they like to choose an alternative route, uh, one that is exciting, daring, and, you know, a little bit different than the usual. And I feel like the people around you are going to really honor you and respect you for choosing a path that perhaps they really wanted to, but they couldn't because they felt it was better to stay safe in the position that they thought was best for them at the time. Okay, now that Eight of Cups, it's a big energy there. So you're definitely going through a journey of discovery. You are um, kind of like looking at hidden treasures in life. I feel also there is an energy that you've come as far as you can with a certain situation. As I said, you've reached a plateau in life and you're kind of like, what's next? And we've got the judgment card. So I see a lot of you returning to some really exciting things things that set your soul on fire, but this is also your calling. So I really feel right now you are going through a calling to honor your intuition, have that, you know, hunch or that gut feeling to do something and then honor it and do it. Also with that uh, judgment card, I feel like there's an energy here of letting go of something in order to explore a new path right now for you. And I feel like you're being called to do it because you're going to love it. You know, if you look at this card, I mean, it is the Empress energy, but it looks like she's listening out. And the opposing card right over here is the judgment. So you're listening to the call. And I feel this is, um, you know, an indication, as you can see with the history of this card, all these people they're in these like wooden coffins, right? And that represents the old life. You know, something is dead and gone. I mean, you've got the death card there. So this is like a resurrection of something. So it could be that something you thought was over or isn't working for you anymore. You may revamp it or you may change it in some way or you may let go of it and do something else. But Ultimately, I feel like you're listening to your heart and, you know, you're not wasting time in life. I feel like, you know, with this judgment card, this is a card of 
another chance at something. So it could be like if you missed out on an opportunity and you felt let down or disappointed, it could be that this opportunity comes back around and it sets that soul on fire again. It could also be that you're returning to a neighborhood that you used to be in and really love. Or it could be that you're going further afield and having an adventure, but your heart is calling you to do so. I mean, this card basically means that You'll know what to do when the moment is right, but it is a hope and a fear energy. So because it's in this position and you read both energies, you read the reverse as well as the upright in this position, it can indicate that some of you, you know, you may feel that you've been stuck for some time or there's been a stagnation or a blockage and you're removing it. You know, that death card is like all change and you're transforming your life so that you're no longer resisting something or, you know, it's like... I'm just getting this energy of an immovable force, but now you're like smashing through it. So whatever has been blocking you or you've been kind of avoiding, I feel like you're not reluctant to avoid it anymore. I feel like you're facing it head on because things get to a critical stage where we go, okay, my heart was whispering before, but now it's screaming. I need to do this. I need to, it's time to step up and lead and do this thing that I've been yearning to do for quite some time. And the universe says, yes, it is the time. And here's the opportunity because now you're ready. So I feel a lot of you, it's almost like you've been ready your whole life, but uh, I feel there's this energy of change about you and you're going to love the outcome. I mean, the Queen of Cups is an energy of, of course, self-love. And I feel like it's about nurturing yourself and being a best friend to yourself. But also I feel this is about reflecting on your idea of security in life, of love, of respect, unconditional love at that, because you tend to offer unconditional love. And this is you recognizing that you are the gift. It's you recognizing that, you know, you offer a lot to every situation that you're in. You give your all, you know, to friendships, to your career, to neighborhoods, to people who come into contact with you day to day. You know, you tend to be someone who is um, really caring about everybody. And now it's like, well, there's some good karma here. It feels like the karma boomerang is coming right back to you where people are starting to be good to you and really like bond with you but also I feel after a period of waiting for something because as you can see we've got that little stock there so this can represent that after a period of watching and waiting now suddenly there's an improvement and movement in your life that is going to be very desirable to you now for some of you this could be that you're going into some sort of career where there's a healing practice or some of you are actually more than anything I feel a lot of you no matter what age you are I feel there's this energy of wanting to do something that is healing for you you. So it could be that you're learning how to heal yourself or heal people because the equivalent of the page of pentacles is in your earthly position. So it can mean that you're applying to, uh, you know, things like meditation, yoga, Pilates, uh, Reiki, it could be, as I mentioned, like hypnotism. Some of you with that queen of cups, you're exploring your healing abilities. But also I feel that no matter what you've experienced in your life, even when people have tried to knock you down or knock your confidence, you've not lowered yourself in your vibration. You've still decided to be open-hearted and be that curiosity spirit in the world, which is what I really love about Aries. You know, you go through some really difficult times, but you still get back up. And a lot of you have been feeling that you're tired of having to always get back up again. But life is about to throw you a really positive curveball. And I feel things just get infinitely easier for you there as well. But I feel like you've been called to do something right now and you're honoring the calling. So I'm just going to go get some final cards. I hope something resonated in that reading for you because it was very complex. and It may not resonate with everyone, but we've got the lover's moon. We've got the wolf moon there as well. They want one more. Okay. So I'm just going to pop that there, pop that there. We have the lover's moon. So I did mention that, you know, of course, for some of you who are looking for love, love is coming your way. And I feel like you're so ready to fall in love. If you're already in a relationship, I feel that uh, you and your person, you may contemplate a move or uh, you may actually, um, I feel like you may end like a, a way of doing something like, like I don't know, I'm just getting, and this is not even related, some of you may be like contemplating like um, upgrading your car, okay? I just feel like something comes to an end, it feels like an end of an era, because it's almost like you were attached to that car or something, and it's like 
you're having an upgrade now or it could be that you know you're like revamping a room in your house perhaps it feels like it was always that way for a long time and it's an end of an era but now you're going to transform it in some way I feel like both of you have some really exciting projects ahead that you're going to do together. A lot of traveling as well. Um, anyone who walks away on the Eight of Cups, they always stumble into the Nine of Cups. So I feel like you're headed in a direction where you're going to get something you wish for, okay? Whether you're single or a couple. Um, but we do have that Ace of Cups there along with the lover's moon romance is about to come into your life relationships love and romance but ultimately i feel the overarching energy of your whole reading is really about romancing your life okay revitalizing your spirits that lust for life and you know really tapping into that powerful aries energy that you have within now of course we've got the wolf moon now wolves very independent but they have their pack they have their soul tribe and it says here you're calling in your soul family so I did mention at the beginning it's all about the people you care about um, it says communication teamwork and loyalty so I'm not surprised to see this in your reading and also you know this can be that some of you it's like you want to go off and do your own independent things whether that's travel set up your own business live an alternative lifestyle whatever it is but you always have that support network the people that really care about you that you can return to no matter where you are in the world and I feel that's a very strong position for you to be in and if some of you are currently feeling a little bit isolated or alone and you haven't currently found your soul tribe I definitely see a lot of you um, I feel like you may join some sort of group it could be something related to knowledge okay and it actually opens you up to uh, going out and having fun with these people so if you're putting yourself in a course of learning to upskill in some way for your career or perhaps you're just you know doing something related to philosophy I'm being given philosophy right uh, very deep thinking energy uh, some of you may just be uh, joining things that you have been connected to in the past but now you want to learn a little bit more about them and you will meet people who are going to become your soul tribe members so uh, i definitely see there's a commitment to unity and community in and around your energy and we also have many moons ago and it says here embrace the wisdom of your past the past memories and nostalgia but I kind of mentioned there because the energy I've got coming through on that in particular it can be that you're processing purifying letting go of things shedding you know things uh, that have been difficult in the past so that you can you know strengthen your current position and have a brighter future to look forward to but also some of you the wisdom of the past is uh, given down by family lineage but it can also be the strongest energy I've got from that card is you returning to something that you used to do in the past that you reflect on fondly but actually you embrace it again and from a more mature viewpoint where you get more value from it now so I don't know what that means I mean it could be like I'm not getting anything I gotta be honest uh, so I'm gonna think about something like for example I'm just gonna talk about me I don't like to talk about me or bring me into a reading but like when I was at college I used to love screen printing it was just so random and just really fulfilling to just like create all these wonderful shapes and see if I could make a picture out of something and I never knew how the ink was going to go but it was really random and I kind of liked it and you know of course when you go back into the big old wide world you don't do things like screen printing anymore unless you go into design um, and I didn't take that route you know so it's something that sometimes I look back on and think oh I wonder if I could do that in the neighborhood now I haven't found a place ever to do it but you know it's like something that you think of fondly like that where you go I used to kind of like doing that and then suddenly you're going to discover where you can do it and then actually I feel it's something that you may embrace a little bit longer so um, I'm just gonna go and get a trinket or a rune we have the turtle okay now this can indicate that yes slow and steady wins a race but also this is about exploration and um, with the turtle having like its home it has a shell on the back this can indicate that you're protected in all your endeavors but also it can indicate some of you may be thinking about being more nomadic in your lifestyle you know perhaps doing something on the go but um you know living on the road or perhaps you know going traveling or 
relocating, um, you know, bringing your home with you, bringing all the stuff that you care about, the people that you care about, the memories and everything with you to somewhere else. So uh, I'm getting strong vibes like that from there. And also, we have the year ruin, okay? Now, this is all about harvest, but it can also indicate that anything that you've been trying to accomplish, especially if it's a big plan that you're working towards, it could be that you're going to accomplish it within a year from now, okay? But ultimately, the main energy I'm getting from this is like peace of mind, commitment to the people you care about, that your endeavors will actually bear fruit. There's reward attached to this. Uh, ruin there as well but ultimately I feel like you're trying really hard to create peace in your world eradicate drama walk away from anything that um, destroys your mental peace or distracts you in any way and I feel the outcome energy is happiness love contentment good fortune well-being serenity peace and surrounded by the people you care about as well. There's a lot of accomplishment there for you, and it feels um, like a personal development accomplishment, but also it just feels like it's going to be less effort in the future as well, if that makes sense. So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in that reading for you. Um, if you'd also like to enter a competition to win a free personal reading from me, all you have to do is write in the comments box below, love is the answer, and my guides will bring me to one subscriber to win that free personal reading. Uh, also, I'll upload a video at the end of August to announce the winner's name. So please keep the notification bell on because you'll want to know if it is your name contained in that video, okay? So I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, my beautiful Aries, and love and light.